Yeah, I've actually been talking about this a lot with Deepak Chopra, who would be coming from that perspective, that consciousness is everywhere and or, consci and, or consciousness is all there is, and more I idealism, really. And there's this ocean of consciousness, and we're all part of it. I would take, uh, I would call that, and, and Deepak and I have discussed this, and we agree to disagree slightly on this. He would call the ocean consciousness, I would call it uh, containing proto-consciousness, almost like dreaming consciousness or almost subconscious. And uh, only when there's this type of self-collapse. So, you know, if you look at the, the ocean on a beach, uh, the ocean, you know, there, there's waves and ripples, and near the beach there's, there's collapses with, with white water or, or white caps out in the middle of the ocean. So I think only when we have these self-collapses, like uh, the waves crashing on the beach or white caps in the middle of the ocean, do we have moments of consciousness? Because I think consciousness is, is a sequence of discrete events. So you need the self-collapse. But underlying that is, is the, this ocean of proto-consciousness. So it's a bit of a semantic. I would call uh, the ocean Brahman and the self-collapse is Atman in, ter in the Vedanta uh, terminology as best as I can explain it. But um, uh, so we're all still one ocean. You know, I'm maybe a set of waves over here and you're a set of waves over there, but we're all on the same ocean. So I think it, 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 this idea, this notion uh, uh, salvages that, that type of uh, philosophy, but refines it a little bit to be more consistent with, with, uh, with what we know about quantum physics and science.